real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Ashley Muthery has a child with the defendant, but she claims she broke up with him after he assaulted her and pled guilty to it in court. Ashley claims she has a hard time co-parenting with the defendant because he's so controlling, and she's suing him today for child support. Defendant Tony Nicholson says Ashley is nothing but a criminal who was arrested for trafficking at the prison where she works. Tony's countersuing because he claims Ashley filed a bogus restraining order against him, and he was arrested for violating it while trying to see his son. Start with you. First thing I'd like to say, it's an honor to be here today. I watch your show every day and I love you. Thank you, um, love you back. So I met Tony in 2014. In 2016, um, it went downhill from there. Um, he put his hands on me. And at that time, it was the first and last straw and I couldn't do it any longer. He chased me down the street. He hit me in my face. He pulled my hair. Um, it got to the point where I had to jump in a stranger's car and ask for help. She called the police. The police came, he was arrested, and he went to jail, I pressed charges. Um, and at that point, my safety, my, our son's safety, and my other kid's safety was more important to me. You all had a son together? Yes, he'll be seven next week. Okay. And so, um, you know, ever since then, you know, we've been trying to co-parent, but it's not working. Uh, we can't seem to come to an agreement. What are the problems? Um, he's a little controlling. Um, he wants things done on his time. And he lives in the house. No, he doesn't live in the house. Would you have the kids in your house. I have the kids, yes, with so me. He controlling what? Um, he tries to control. Right. Okay, that's when, the operative word. Yeah. Right. Uh, he tries to control <laughs> when um, he's available for our son and when I should be available mm -hmm. instead of us trying to agree together. Um, and so, um, yes, I'm suing for child support because. It's unfair to me to have to do this by myself. You have a child support order saying how much he owes? I do, yes, sir. How much is that? Um, he owes over $6,000, 6151 What page? If you look at page, um, the child support orders, page 2 through 10, sir. Okay. But what page says the amount? The amount is on, the arrears amount is on page 1. Sorry, sir. All right, sir, let me hear from you. I want to address the issue about the uh, case me and her had. Mm -hmm. I never put my hands on it before. Um, we left a bar and got to our argument in her complex, and the police claimed I was arrested. Never was an issue with battery. She, was, she doesn't have any kind of um, photos or case log on that. It was dismissed because it never was a battery charge. It was dismissed, ma'am? No, sir. I have a police report. If you look. No. Eight... Was he sentenced to something? Yes, he pled guilty. To he... what? Um, to and the did something and was he did had you to plead guilty? No, sir. It was dismissed, sir. He had to do anger management. Did as you have one to do police. anger management? Oh yes, yes, I did. Yeah, I did. That's I did. called alternative sentencing. They take it off your record if you complete their uh, alternative sentence. That's what that is. Isn't? No, you were. Uh, you pled to that to get that. Remember that? You pled to that. Mm -hmm. So you don't plead. The judge can't tell you to do nothing if you dismiss it. He tell you to take no anger management. Turn around and lift your behind up and say, you, you yeah. take some anger management. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. It wasn't anger management. It's it this was, uh... mess. You don't have nothing a judge can say to you. Ain't no community service. Ain't no nothing. You ain't got nothing to say to me, judge. I'm off. I'm yeah, dismissed. Was all classy, Bye. But... See you later. I ain't going to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say when your case is dismissed, sir. You don't say, Anger management? Okay. No, you actually, it was alcohol classes, Judge. Pardon me? It actually, was alcohol classes. It wasn't anger management. Whatever. They can't order yeah. you to do anything. Yeah. Alcohol, yeah. hair rhyme, you can come in there nodding. <laughs> if you ain't done nothing wrong, there's nothing they can do. <laughs> he chased me down the street. He hit me in my face. He pulled my hair. Um, it got to the point where I had to jump in a stranger's car and ask for help. She called the police. The police came, he was arrested, and he went to jail, I pressed charges. Um, and at that point, my safety, my, our son's safety, and my other kid's safety was more important to me. Defendant Tony Nicholson is being sued by his ex-girlfriend, who claims she had Tony arrested after he hit her in the face and chased her down the street. Like she said, the sentence was 
It'll be dismissed from your record once you complete anger management. That's the dismissed part. It's not my first time. Yeah. All right. So uh, what else you want to tell me about the incident, though? Uh, Ma'am, this was the first time you said even, right? Yes, sir. In two and, years? Um, yes. All right. Um, he, he was a little aggressive throughout, and I will just make a point that we wasn't at no bar. He was mad because I wouldn't let him use my car, and I pull up. He didn't have a key to the house, and he had been out all night, and I wasn't there when he got there, and he got upset. We go in the house. I'm sitting there. And he but you all have been together two years. I'm just curious what made him trigger this that far at that point to, uh, to violence. I think to be two years you hadn't been. Yeah, I, I don't have any proof, but I think drugs might have been involved. Okay. Um, I know he was doing K2, that synthetic weed yep. at the time. Um, but I'm thinking it, that, that might have been a trigger. Yeah, that was it. Um, and like I said, I mean, we were sitting there and he threatened me at that time. So I get up to leave and walk out my own house. Cause I lived there, he just lived with me, and it went downhill from there. He chased me around the apartment complex to. I try to make it to I a gas it. station. Are you telling me the yeah. first? Anything else yeah. you want to tell me, sir? Other than uh, it was dismissed? Yes, I want to also say um, I'm not an angel. I want the courts to know that she's not an angel neither. Mm -hmm. um, she was arrested in 2019 for for um, trafficking with an inmate at her job. For what? Trafficking with an inmate, no intention on um, delivering um, substance out of side of prison that she worked at. Whoa. 19, 2020, she got a case pending right now for theft. And uh, I'm presenting this right now because these issues right here have been stopping me from seeing my son. And uh, she's been keeping this from me. So, but as far as the going to jail at her job at the prison, I found this out through someone else through a, through a screenshot from the was article. She liked it? Um, yeah, she contraband was, in the prison? Yes, she was. And she was released and got bonded out. But I don't know what her sentence was. Ma'am? Um, yes, that's true. Um, I took a plea. Because um, for selling drugs to inmates? No, it wasn't selling oh. drugs. They said cigarettes. They believed okay, for selling cigarettes. They believed I was bringing cigarettes in. So yes, I did. Bringing them in to smoke. Oh, so you just did you tell them, Judge? I just got a bad habit. No, you not... tell them you had a bad cigarette habit since you're saying you didn't bring anything in to sell. You just brought a bunch of cigarettes in to smoke. You're a big smoker. No, I, I got you off of that. No, I wasn't. That's bringing... what you say you brought it in for. I can get you a court appointed. Would have got you off of that if you said all you brought to sit, all you brought in was cigarettes and you wasn't selling nothing to inmates. I mean, you were smoking them. You're just a big smoker. No, a lot of pressure <laughs> in the prisons. I can understand. It's a lot of pressure working in them prisons. So if you'd brought three or four packs in, and they said, "Why are you bringing three or four packs in every day?" You think it's I smoke four packs a day. I wasn't bringing you it. You went right to so. jail like you did. No, but go ahead. <laughs> Tell me what happened then. No, so, Tell me what happened. Um, so, yes, I. Give I, me the game that the judge didn't go for. <laughs> well, <laughs> that the last judge didn't go for. I, what happened? I didn't even now? see a judge. I just went ahead and pled out because um, of the fact that. Were you sentenced? You know, I was. I had to do. By um, the clerk? No. Who, by, by who? By the judge. You said you didn't see the judge. I mean, I didn't. Oh, let's move on. Let's move on. Child support, sir, what do you say about that? Um, I'm behind on child support because... You deal with because... criminals who don't know about crime or think I don't. Go ahead. I'm what? behind on child support because I was... Yes, you're a criminal. I was incarcerated <laughs> from 2020, uh, so I've been gone for two years, so that's the reason why I'm behind. Okay. But while I was incarcerated, I was in, I was in a work release center and I was working. Okay. And um, they took out some money out of my account. I have that right here, too, to go to the court. You're happy for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no problem at all about that. But um, child support already took some money from me out of my account, which was uh, $2,491. Yeah, but what she has, their balance as yeah. of, yeah, as of now, uh, as recently as now, was 6151 Did you know that? Yes, I did. Okay. Then you're admitting to owe. Your counterclaim, how does she owe you? What does she do to you? Because I was arrested for a charge that she had, um, she filed a, a restraining order on me uh -huh. um, to not to go to my son's daycare. And uh, and I did, not knowing that I couldn't go to my son's daycare to, to visit my son, because I was going there to see him and visit him and play with him uh, or whatever. But um, she put an order on me, a daycare, saying I couldn't go there. I went there and they arrested me. So you didn't I, know you had a protective no, order against I, you? I, I never reserved the order or nothing like that. The order that I had on me was dismissed. Then she put a new order on me that uh, I didn't know about because I had moved. I had moved. So when you got to court and you explained that, what happened? What was the result? I never. Um, they they gave me a bond. Yeah, they gave me a bond. I bonded out. Uh -huh. 
but I had a hold in a different county, so I never was released because I was out on a out on pretrial release already. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but what happened with the case when you were? Uh, they, they dismissed it now. Um, it's over it now. But I'm just saying. And the emotional distress is for you spend a night in jail for that or something? No, 19 months in jail. For this incident, for the showing up at the uh, daycare. Yes, for the invasion of privacy. I, I was violated for that charge. Got it. On you were on probation. I was on pretrial parole, release. And you were violated. Yes. Based on the restraining order. Yes. That you didn't know about. Yes. So what does she do wrong, though? Not tell you about it? Is that what you're saying? She what did she it. do wrong? Um, she filed without telling me. The people didn't serve me. I didn't know what was going on. She. Um, and you didn't know you had one on you? I didn't at all. Defendant Tony Nicholson is being sued by his ex-girlfriend, who claims she had Tony arrested after he hit her in the face and chased her down the street. Ma'am, mm -hmm. anything about this? That's a lie, because before he was arrested, the daycare kept telling him he wasn't allowed to be up there. Um, they was calling me and saying he was up there again. Did they ever tell you that, sir? No, sir. And they never showed me any paperwork that they're not going to be on their property. They never presented it. You said they told you several times. He says they never told him once. Yes, he did. They never yes, they did, because they not they, they, about that. I said, did they tell you once? Oh, okay. Did they ever say one time, don't come up? No, sir. Okay. And your they name was authorized for the pickup, obviously. Yes, to visit him, yes. It, are you? To, to visit, visit where? At the daycare? Son's daycare, yeah. No, I'm saying you got to, you're saying to pick him up and leave. No, I ain't on that business list. No, I, I don't believe I am. She, she on took, the pickup list? No, I'm not. She took okay. me off of it. All right, you don't visit kids when they're daycare. Right. Okay. All right. He's confused. <laughs> Yeah. 5000 for the uh, plaintiff, as is indicated on the child support. Your claim is dismissed. Um, she is not responsible for you being arrested for going up to the daycare. They w told you not to, and somehow you believed you can visit. And so that's why I know now that you're confused. You can't go up to the daycare administrator and say, hey, I want to kick it around with Johnny this morning a little <laughs> bit. I, I know you got coloring crayons at... At 11, taking their nap at 12. One. I know all that is fine, but I just want to kick a woody. <laughs> I ain't how that goes, sir. <laughs> just before the player, your claim is dismissed. <laughs> nice to nice you, by the way. You're just a liar. Like, seriously? Um, like, why do you sit there and act like I just hold your son against you. Everything that you, you're not a victim, What I want to say me. is you're a crappy mother and I want to see my uh, I'm, son. I'm a crappy mother. Let's look at your background. Drug and alcohol. What about you? And you think you're fit to be around a kid? Please. <laughs>